Hello Capricorn, welcome. I'm Ryan, thank you for being here. This is going to be a general reading for you may be dealing with. Of course, everything may not resonate, so take what does and leave the rest. And for more tarot readings after this, please check out my wife's channel. I'll probably be free tarot options with you as well. Thank you. See what's going on. Wow, 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 wow. I'm actually looking at that. I haven't seen that in some time. Hold on. Oh my goodness gracious. Um, today, unfortunately, is going buckle up, Capricorn. I even told myself I'm going to try and be nice just because your energy... Their energy, sometimes, even I know, I'm, I'm a little, you know, a little sharp with it, a little kind of rough with it, but I can't help it. When I see shenanigans and type of, you know, certain types of bullshit, I have to call it out. I have to say something because it's like you, you should be fired up to have to deal with that from someone or even from yourself. It's kind of like, what am I doing? Um, And as I walk through this and explain, hopefully you'll follow and understand what I'm talking about. Because they're making it very pinpoint clear as to the dynamic between the two of you. And what I'm looking at, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry to have to be looking at what I'm saying. My, yeah, my apologies in advance. My apologies in advance. Um, so here's the thing. The two of you definitely are focusing on something together. Even though it kind of seems and feels like absolutely no. They, they are not, they're not in the same energy as you are, Capricorn, because you're presenting your energy as well, which I do feel, you know, appreciative of being so direct. They themselves, emotionally speaking, are not fully 100% emotionally invested and committed into this with you to the point where things are actually digressing. This is, I'm not going to say that this is even karmic. This is, things are moving in the wrong direction. Things are moving in the wrong direction between the two of you. There's a connection there, but this connection is, it's, it's saying, it takes two to make it work and it takes one to fuck it up. They're fucking it up. They're emotionally fucking it up. There's no easy, soft, sugar-coated way to say that. They're fucking it up. Because you're showing me, well, I care. I'm like, Capricorn, they don't. They, they, well, I have love for Capricorn, yeah, but they're not in love with you. To the point where their energy is showing up emotionally so negative that it's dominating your energy. And that's what I'm talking about. But yet they're staying in the situation, the dynamic between the two of you, because they feel like they can get some sort of financial security or income because of it. They're like, well, I have an idea here. Well, what if I just kind of plan to stay put for a little bit longer and wait for things to kind of balance out? And it's kind of like, so they're waiting to take from the relationship, take from the connection between the two of you, but they're not willing to give to it. That's what they're saying. This is someone who's breadcrumbing you, stringing you along, using you. And they can know it. They know it. They know it. They have a guilty conscience about this. They're kind of like, and that's like I said, it's like they have an idea to try and leverage the situation, a dynamic. And now they're stressing out about it. Where's this going?
Oh gee, I'm not surprised. I'm looking at 555. I'm not surprised. As as I just said 555, I saw 555 on the clock. So there's your synchronicities. There's a third person there. There's a third party energy there, Capricorn. They're playing you. And that's exactly what I was talking about. And I get this shit. How this actually, how they're moving and operating. Because like I said, you should be fired up. You should be pissed off. You have horns on your head, Capricorn. Use them. I'm not saying use your brain. I'm saying use your horns. Put some boundaries in place. Stand up for yourself. If... <sighs> they're taking from the relationship or dynamic between the two of you. And they're saying, you know what? I actually have passion for this third party energy on the side. That I'm going to, I, I feel so much passion and desire for them. I'm just going to go for them too. They're making that ultimately, they're making that decision, Capricorn. They're making that decision. They're saying, you know what? I'm just going to go for it because financially speaking for financial security, you know, I always say you can't knock survival, but at the same time, if you're going to play someone, that's a little different. It's not a blurred line or a loophole. That's outright using someone. It's like break up, split up, divorce, become single, and then change people or switch people or whatever you want to refer to it as. But doing it while or during. Ho-hopping. Ho-hopping. Monkey branching. Vine swinging. Bouncing. They're looking for security. You give them that. Survival, security. At the same time, they're, they're using, abusing, and manipulating you. And now get this. Overall, because the pressure and the heat is on, they're starting conflicts and fights with you and sabotaging and then turning around and getting defensive and then being like, you know what, well, nah, 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 nah. I'm going to walk away from this with me and Capricorn because I have someone else on the side. I don't know how you're not getting pissed off. I'm pissed off for you. Because that's, that's just some outright bullshit. That's like, give me, now I'm going to start a shit with you. I'm gonna bite the hand that feeds, in other words. I'm gonna bite the hand that feeds and then hop hop over there to that person and get what I still want from that person too. I'm not saying they're a gold digger. Nothing like that, but they know exactly what they're doing. And they don't give a shit, oh my gosh. They don't give a shit, Capricorn. Do I need to kind of, you know, Do I, do I need to make my point any clearer? And they're saying, well, I'm gonna go over there to them because they're financially set and secure, and I'm not. And they're over there knowing that they're a player. And a hoe. And a hoe. Sorry, I'm trying to be Right? I, it's aggravating. Capricorn, I, I'm trying to tell you, Capricorn. <laughs> they're playing you, they're playing you. It's not just my wife and me being an ass. No, it's like we, we care, we but when we shit. see the bullshit, we got to point it out. And that's what's interesting. As I said, they're not a gold digger. Actually, they might be because <laughs> they just showed, they just showed me the card where they might be. They're gonna like, oh, I financially am not set and stable on my own, which is why I'm take 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 take. They could be a gold digger. I wish there was like an ace of shovels in this deck, <laughs> so we know. Call it the smart ass tarot. Maybe that'll make things There's clear. Smart, smart ass, ass tarot. tarot. Oh my god. Someone run with it and make that deck, please. Smart ass tarot. Where everything is like smart ass but realistic and everyone like gets it. Of course, if you are dealing with anyone, goodness gracious. You could be dealing with a water sign, a fire sign. There could be children and kids involved in this too. That just complicates the whole story. Um can't stand it. Just messy. Just outright fucking messy. I think that's it. Water, fire. That is it. And all the gold. Goodbye.